In the seaside town of Hull, members of the police force count on their fellow officers to be there for them and their families after they put in their time. You're supposed to have integrity, you're supposed to have honesty. But when Officer Richie McKenna retired in December and asked for his $2,800 benefit from the Hull Police Association, he was told nothing was left. I was disgusted. I mean, what do you mean all the money's gone? Current Hull Police Union and Association President Scott Saunders tells Team 5 he found these statements from 2006 showing $130,000 in accounts. Seven years later, that money was gone. Saunders says nobody knew where it went, so he started getting more statements. They show former sergeant and union treasurer Greg Shea writing checks to himself from the union account, totaling $26,000 over five years. Shea resigned in April after being placed on administrative leave. His attorney says they have no comment. Saunders also discovered four union credit cards with thousands in charges, some appearing to be for union expenses. But McKenna's attorney, Jim Brady, says others do not appear to be legit. The organization was taken over by pirates. Brady filed this civil lawsuit against Greg Shea, current Hull Police Chief Richard Billings, Captain Robert Sautel, Lieutenant Dale Shea, Sergeant Robert Casagrande, and retired officer John Coggin. All served in leadership roles with the Union and Relief Association over the last 14 years. There are all kinds of purchases for uh, vacations all around the, the North America. There are massive expenditures for food, restaurants, clothing, household goods. Credit card statements obtained by Team 5 show Coggins, who was union president, charging thousands on his union credit card. Many times the bill was paid out of the union's checking account. The lawsuit details $5,000 in charges for a 2006 Las Vegas trip for Coggins, Greg Shea, and their wives. We're here from Channel 5. We tried getting an explanation from Coggins. Hi. Would you like to say anything about the union accounts? No, I don't want to say anything. His attorney tells us all the allegations are false, that Coggins always repaid the union for any personal charges, but he refused to show us any proof. How do you describe their behavior? Predatory and completely, dis completely disregarding their fiduciary duty. Coggins retired in 2010, but statements show he's still using the union credit card this year. The bills mailed to his home. Chief Richard Billings told Team 5 he didn't know anything about unauthorized spending. He was treasurer from 2000 to 2004 and couldn't explain why there weren't any financial statements during that time. Since then, he said he's had no involvement with the union. But McKenna and his lawyers say this goes beyond poor record keeping and questionable spending. According to court records, the families of three officers who were supposed to get death benefits from this money never received a penny. I'm just appalled. I mean, and these people think that uh, they can get away with it, that they're above it. Through his lawyer, Sergeant Casagrande denied he had any liability for any missing money. An attorney for Lieutenant Dale Shea and Captain Sautel told us they had no knowledge of what happened with the funds. For Team 5 Investigates, I'm Karen Anderson.